what did I want to take a look at? Oh, chat, the streamer awards nominations opened up today. So we're going to nominate who we think the best is in every category. Nominations literally determine, I think, who you end up voting for. So let's let's do a little bit of nominations for the streamer awards. Uh, and we got 28 total categories we can nominate somebody in. Best creative arts streamer. The best streamer to watch for art, music, food, drink, makers, and crafting. The only person who comes to mind for this, who I think fits the title of best creative arts streamer, I, I, I won't nominate Cutie. I don't think Cutie, has she ever won an award or own a, award show? I'm gonna nominate Rubber Ross because he's he's truly dedicated to, to, to streaming drawing and animation, which is a really hard thing to, to do and then to not quit doing. Because a lot of people who do it quit doing it or do it occasionally, but he's a, he's about it. So I'm going to give it to Rubber Ross. Best MMO RPG streamer. Who's the best MMO RPG streamer? I think I might give it to Soda Poppin. Now, I think this could be seen as a slight to diehard MMO fans and MMO streamers who have put in the work time and time again. And that's fair. And I would accept that criticism. However, the only time I, a guy who quit MMO 10 years ago, have watched any MMO content was the return turn of hardcore to um, classic wow and specifically the the guild that soda ran and he ran that shit with an iron fist and even did three hour like strategy meetings like he was kind of about it so i think i think that's cool i'm gonna give it to soda poppin uh best strategy game streamer Ooh, dude this is a tough category there's i feel like this category is like eight different people fighting for it every year i feel like it's always a scara a k3 soju a toast a Northern Lion. You could even toss in a stand. Box Box. I'm gonna go Northern Lion. I believe Box Box won last year. The question specifically is a streamer that creates the best content while playing strategy games. And I found myself watching Northern Lion the most. Best chess streamer. It's not close this year. Unfortunately, it's not close. Tyler won. I hate to give it to him, all right? I hate to give it to him. But I watched Tyler 1 grind more chess games than most chess masters play in a year in the course of three months and climb from a paltry 200 rating to a peak of 1,500. Does he have 100 hours on chess? Bro, he might have 2,000. <laughs> Past 365 days, he has streamed 73 hours of chess. Ooh, does he not count? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this drama? He's technically only streamed 73 hours, but that's so wrong because I watched this channel and he has played 900 hours of chess. <laughs> I feel like it should count because I've watched him play 100 hours. It's not him though. It literally is. Is this not different than an alt account? Do we not count alt accounts? I'm throwing him down. This, hey, it ain't my job to figure out whether he's allowed or not. That's cuties. I'm counting Tyler one. I think that should count. I think you guys are dumb as shit. No offense. If you think that doesn't count, Count. I think the faith of the question is that you want to make sure you nominate someone who truly is playing that game. He, dude, he played a thousand hours of chess. A thousand! And we're going to be like, mm, I just don't know if it counts, though. I just don't know. Ah. Uh, Hmm. Is he really playing chess? Hmm. How do you walk away with that opinion? He streamed it on his stream. He probably also is oftentimes streaming in the wrong category because he plays bullet games in between league games. And then he also competed in pog champs where he didn't stream the matches all the time, which is more hours. Look, I'm about the faith of an argument. I would hate if I was ever a technically right guy. That's just not my being. I'm not trying to flame you if that's who you are, but I don't like the letter of the law. I like the faith of the law. And that's how I often Operate. Best software and game development streamer. I feel like this category was created for one man and one man only. <laughs> Woo, let's go auto. <laughs> this category was created for pirate software. But I also think Doug Doug could be here. I guess maybe it's not considered game development. Although we did make a game in uh house liver. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna vote pirate software because he has done a lot. He has done a lot. I've give I've given him his comeuppance on this stream, and I will continue to do so here. Best fighting game streamer. Who won this last year? Did Hungry Box win? It wasn't a category. If I'm keeping it a full stack, and in a way, I hate to give it to him, but I just have to give it to Hungry Box. <laughs> 
The guys, he's the GOAT. I think Mango would tell you to give it to Hungrybox. He did a year of coin boxes for Smash Ultimate, for Smash Melee. I think he dabbled in Street Fighter. Didn't go great. He played Nasby. Yeah, I think he did the, the Sponge Box too, right? Or the Nickelodeon. He's done a lot. He's done a lot for the FGC, man. Sejam deserves it more? No, I disagree. I just think Sejam's funnier. And I just like Sejam more as a person. But I don't think Sejam created a better fighting game content for the past year. And you guys are conflating who you like more versus who the better streamer was. Look, you're right. I fucking think Sejam is a... is. If I had to pick who was in my blown rotation, I would pick Sejam. But I think Hungrybox actually did a fuck ton for fighting games. I think he did. And I like when people push communities forward. And I think he did that. I mean, just look how many hours he streamed, dude. He's done a lot. Also, by the way, yeah, true. If you guys are watching and you disagree, this is nominations. Just vote. <laughs> Here's the thing, I get one vote, you guys get 15,000. So if anything, my voice is very small in comparison to yours. By that logic, you should give it to Gotham Chess over T1? No, because I don't think Gotham Chess has helped the game of chess through his live streaming efforts as much as he has with his YouTube content, his shorts, and making a book. But I don't think Levy has been a phenomenal streamer by any metric. Most of Levy's streams are titled like, Don't Watch. <laughs> And it'll be him like playing for like two hours. I, I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, Levy really changed the chess streaming game. He's done a lot for chess, probably more than than most individuals popularize a sport. But the question is who the the better streamer was. So are your streams? I didn't nominate myself. Checkmate, bitch. I know Maximilian Dude, guys. I, I know Maximilian Dude very, very well. And Maximilian Dude should almost every year get a nomination for best fighting game streamer. But I'm trying to think of someone who um had a specifically good year. And maybe that's unfair to Maximilian Dude because he's always fucking top top and he'll get nominated for this for sure but i think hunger box had a top top year best speedrun streamer this one's hard streamer that creates the best content while speedrunning games this is hard this is hard for me. Best speedrun streamer. I think, if I'm being honest, it doesn't make sense to put Squeaks here. I like Squeaks. I think he's very funny. But I don't know if he had the best speedrun year. I think it might have been his worst speedrun year to some degree. There's an argument. His variety has killed it. His RP has killed it. But, like, if we think about his speedrunning, I believe he gave himself a goal to get a 49 a one, a what, what was it? He had some fucking goal for his 70 stars. Like, getting a 49 or a 48 before the end of the year, he didn't do it. He failed. And then he also did a speedrun contest against me in Mario Party. He never got a sub, too. Most of his good clips has come from not speedrunning. I think best speedrun streamer, I got three people coming to mind. I don't think it was Small Ant's best year. I'm just gonna get that out there right now. I just watched his Minecraft video. It's fucking phenomenal. If you haven't seen uh, his um, uh, Minecraft video, it's great. It's not a speedrun. I mean, I guess maybe it's a speedrun, but I don't really think it was a speedrun. I think it was just a run with a timer. A a lot of his year was taken up by playing Minecraft in a non-speedrun fashion. I don't think it was his best year. Three people come to mind. Person number one, Distortion 2. Let's not forget, this was the year of Only Up. Distortion 2 is the one who got the Only Up records time and time again. That's number one. Number two, Liam. Liam has had a phenomenal year. I think he's basically carrying the Mario 64 category, which is near and dear to me. I think Liam deserves a nomination. And I think number three, hmm... Who do I think number three, actually? Who do I think for number three? I don't know who I think for number three. It might be Point Crow. It might be Point Crow or Grand Pooh Bear. But I think of all the people who I've mentioned, I'm going to vote Distortion 2. Who won it last year? Best speedrun streamer, Point Crow, won it last year. Oh, Distortion 2 wasn't even nominated. Yeah, so I, I feel great about that then. Yeah, definitely I am nominating Distortion 2. He, dude, he, he had a fucking killer year. Killer year. Gotta give it to Distortion 2. All right, next up, Hidden Gem. This award serves to highlight an amazing streamer with less than 100 average viewers during 2023. They're a hidden gem who deserves to shine wow less than a hundred fuck that is low that is low shit i don't know if i'm educated enough less than a hundred dude this is, this is actually the hardest one to nominate for xqc hmm i don't know about that <laughs> blue scooty is such recency bias that it feels wrong to put down because i don't know i and i don't think you guys know about his stream before the record i don't know i don't know if i have one here nick Yingling. <laughs> I don't think he streamed enough hours. This is a fake vote. This is a fake vote. He has not streamed enough hours, but it is who I instantly thought of. Bush Camp Dad definitely gets more than 100 concurrence. Best Battle Royale streamer. Okay, this one's hard. This one's a legitimately hard question to answer. Who won it last year? It's Timmy won. It's either Clicks or Cypher PK, and those are the two in my head. Cypher PK didn't even get a nomination last year. I'm gonna throw Cypher PK down. Or you know what, how about Bush Camp Dad? Let me get a Bush Camp Dad nomination. I've seen a couple Bush Camp Dad clips. I like that guy. Wow. Best FPS streamer, Tarek. 
It's disingenuous to say anyone else. I watched 650 hours of Tarek. Oh, Slime? Slime could get a vote. Slime could get a vote for sure. But I'm throwing down Tarek. Who won it last year? Asu won it last year. Tarek wasn't even nominated. Yeah, I'd give it to Tarek this year. Rising Star. This award goes to a streamer who is still on the rise and averaged under 500 viewers, but has the potential to be at much more. Less than 500, but deserves to be a lot more. I don't I don't know less than 500. I know less than 1,000, though. Do you think 687 is too high? Yeah, this is too high. 600 is so that's so cringe it's so close 500 is too i wish it was a thousand i feel like 100 and 500 are the same fucking i'm being a hater 500 so hard i think chibli's well above 500 no yeah chibli's you guys are dumb as fuck chibli averaged a thousand viewers 651 in december 550 i don't know if chibli passes i guess i don't know how tight they are to the letter of the law it shows me 493 over the past 365 then maybe i'll give it to chibli best role play streamer streamer of the best role play in gta rp vr chat arc dungeons and dragons now, there might be some recency bias here but i have to give it I was going to say I have to give it to Lily Pichu because she RPs as bottom. Okay, never mind. Would be nice. Uh, I will give it to... Ah, shit. It's either Squeaks or honestly, you know who I watched recently who's really funny? S-Fan. S-Fan's RP is really good too. I think they're both deserving of it. But I'm going to give it to Squeaks. Best Minecraft streamer. Most enjoyable streamer to watch for Minecraft. Do you be foolish? Lock me in. I don't think Dream has streamed more than one hour in the past year, if I had to guess. I think a Twall could be on here. I think Small Ant could also be on here. But I think I prefer Small Ant's videos to his live streams because usually... The the stream is a progression that leads to a result that you are excited to see. But I'm going to go foolish. I'm locking that in. Best IRL streamer. Extra Emily. Extra Emily for me. I think she's the only one who I see consistently doing IRL with some purpose. Sea Dog obviously does some great IRL stuff. Connor could be here. But I think Connor does IRL so intermittently that I don't know if it feels like the best fit for him. I don't... I don't think of IRL and I go, oh, Connor. Now, he might have hit the hours just based off the RV trip. Maybe, but he doesn't do IRL that much. So I'm going to go extra Emily. I think she deserves it. Hold up. I'm getting a call from... Hello, I'm live on uh, YouTube. Do I need to mute? Can YouTube hear me right now? Everyone can hear you, but I can mute you as well. No, no, no. That's fine. I want to be heard. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> so I called Ludwig to discuss some confidential things. I can't say anything else because you guys might piece it together. They're all um, saying they won't leak it if that helps. Yo, let's have this oh. negotiation live on stream. Yes. Uh, Luddy. Buddy. Do you want to mute? I'll mute. No, 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 no. This is, this is, this is definitely. How many people are watching? Uh, seventeen thousand. This is, you know, these are the kinds of conversations you expect to do in front of an <laughs> arena of people. Uh, some would say a stadium. Uh huh. Okay. Um, sure. I, I'm. Hmm. Take it away, Reed. Should, should we call our lawyer so we can negotiate <laughs> this kidding. in real time? I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um. No. Anyways, I was just trying to give him content. You know how it is. Uh. Yeah. Just call me whenever you're done streaming. Uh. I, I'll, I'll be on a plane. I don't know. Just call me sometime, like tomorrow i will call you and we will talk our secret things that we often talk about and our wheels and deals that we both do together that are very big well this isn't this isn't the illuminati stuff this is like a, a potential partnership type thing stuff oh we're not talking about our blood boys that we both have all of us legally this yeah. is true okay all right well that's yeah. then i'll just call you like in an hour or whatever also oh chat one last thing sure can you make sure they they really can hear me they yeah yeah they hear you <sighs> For the rest of the night, do not stop spamming penis. Stop. Penis, penis, penis. <laughs> Dude, you're almost 30. <laughs> You're not, you're not cheap. You're bigger than this, man. He doesn't control us. He doesn't, we're not cheap. Our eyes are wide open, bro. Come on, come on. We won't spam paint. What the fuck just happened? What happened? Is it because there's too many penis? Did my computer automatically blur it? <laughs> penis, penis, penis. Oh my God. He's ruined my stream. Mr. Beast has ruined my fucking stream. <laughs> All right, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. My mods banned it, and now people are just drawing penises with eight equal equal D. <laughs> mods, I don't, you don't have to continue the ban fight. There, there's too many ways to say penis. We won't win this. And I don't want to ban penis, cock and ball, the number eight, wee wee, pee pee, old three inch, whatever word you use for it. I'm going to move on. <laughs> Son of a, he always gets me. I'm going to move on to best stream game of the year. Chat, focus. To my non-penis enjoyers, or not like enjoyers, but like the people, what is the best stream game of the year? The best game, bar none, over the past three, six, five. That's kind of tough, honestly. Penis. Come on. Penis. Stop. Penis. Stop. Penis. Penis, 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 okay. penis, penis. Right. Thank you for the $10. I think it's either, I think Lethal Company's up there. I think Baldur's Gate, eh. 
maybe is up there. I don't know how fun Baldur's Gate's been to watch. I think GTA is up there. I think Suica. Ooh, Suica. I'm going Suica, dude. I'm going Suica. Honestly, I was going to put only up, but I'd actually rather Suica win it. Give me Suica game, bro. I fucking love Suica game. And everybody played it too. Eh, oof. We're going to retake that one. Let's just move on. All right, best shared channel. Best shared channel. Who has a shared channel? I mean, honestly, the only people that come to mind is Botez. Let me go Mango. <laughs> I'm going Mango. I think NMP LOL is probably the best answer. Yeah, NMP LOL is probably a better answer. Mango barely counts. No, that's dumb as shit. It counts, it counts so much. He literally, look, right now, as we are talking, he is live and he is not the one streaming. It's Joey. And Joey streams like six days a week for at least five to six hours. How do you even like for a second not call that a share channel i'm going mango actually just because of you out of spite out of pure spite best content organization esports content org that has created the best content during the past year hmm Note, this category is not subject to the hours required let's hear it for your moist moguls give it up for your moist moguls baby let's give it up for your moist moguls uh we made Ludwig Tarek Invitational. Um, that was actually before it existed. Wait, does off-brand count? I'm going off-brand. Why wouldn't it? Yeah, that's, that was my thought. There's no reason why it wouldn't be categorized as a content organization, I feel like, right? What has off-brand made? Excellent question. Off-brand has made a bevy of events. You might have seen the dodgeball event. You might have seen Sea Dog VA's charity stream. In fact, you might even watch the streamer awards, which is also being made by off-brand. You might have seen Shuffle Mania with Doug Doug. Best streamed series. The best reoccurring show series or repeat event of 2023. This award recognizes the best in episodic live streaming Ooh, that's hard 2v tuesday 2v tuesday master baker no i don't think cutie likes being nominated i don't think she'll accept the nomination so it's a waste of an om 2v tuesday foos cuts is actually a affront to god so i don't i don't want to put that there uh marketing monday school name your price name your price had a good run i suppose thursday night football is so funny imagine a nominating and letting the award go to thursday night football <laughs> Yeah, let's give it up for the NFL. Yep, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, maybe we throw it down though, why not? I think it's, to me, critical role. If I'm picking what is objectively the best, it's don't put down White Wednesdays, you fucks. It is not White Wednesdays, relax. I think this is probably the correct answer for me, but I actually don't love it only because it's not live in the true sense. It's pre-recorded and then aired live. So I don't know if I like nominating it because although that's still valuable and cool, it's not as difficult or impressive as true live and true live is like that fucking step above. Yeah, I only found out recently they've, they've been doing... Um, televised live since covid and i found out during the game awards because during the game awards uh matt mercer was on stage and then also streaming critical role and i was like he, there's not twos of them i know that <laughs> i know there's not twos of them bad take hey, Ludwig, i think it's a pretty Atriok normal take recently brought to light that your boomer remote is him at the age of 26 since you're now pushing 30 what does that make you i'm not pushing 30 i'm 28 and when he was m my age he couldn't run a damn half marathon the thing is it's not about the age it's about the lifestyle. You know what I mean? Because you can be old but still have a young soul and body. And my body's so young and, and spry and hip. 2v Tuesday. 2v Tuesday is such a... All right, fine. 2v Tuesday. <laughs> Best streamed event. The most entertaining, interesting, or enjoyable single streamed event during the past year. Dodgeball? Dodgeball was dope. I think I, li I liked Greatest Gamer better than Dodgeball, but it did perform worse, partially because we also had some technical issues. Shuffle Mania was cool. The RV stream was fun. Sideman Charity Match? Eh, I don't count them. Maybe that's wrong of me. But they uh, this award show feels catered to a different circle of the internet that they don't feel like they are... Actually, no. That's unfair to Zerka. It definitely counts, by the way. Like, by all measures and metrics, it counts. It just feels a little outside. It's unfair. The thing is also, I don't need to be fucking fair. It's my nominations. You all get your own nominations. <laughs> I, I could put in something wrong. You know, every fucking four years, people vote for the president. They don't have to do any research at all. It's our God-given right to be misinformed and still have a vote. So don't get mad at fair not fair. Fucking nominate yourself instead of whining. That's the, that's the reality of the world. You can't just whine and say not fair because as long as it's within the rules, it is fair. It's not political. It's religious. I don't, I don't like voting for my own events. So I, I'm not going to vote for Dodgeball or for um, God Gamer. I'm, I'm, I, uh, I feel weird voting for my own 
events. So I won't do that. Instead, I will vote for the event that I thought was the coolest, and although in a roundabout way might include me, but is not about me, is uh, Shuffle Mania. Because I thought it was very creative and fun and funny. So I'm going to go Shuffle Mania. Best international streamer. The top streamer excelling in content creation for a global audience, specifically catering to an international or non-North American English-speaking audience. Hmm. I mean, maybe I'll just go Sea Dog. I don't think Quackity streamed enough. I'm, I'm counting Quackity's hours right now. Okay, he gets there with his second channel. I'll go Quackity. Because to me, although Sea Dog would fit into this because he does cater to a non North American English speaking audience, it's mostly Europeans or APAC. I think Quackity caters to like non English speaking as a whole which I think is more interesting to me. Best Breakthrough Streamer. You may not have heard of them before, but after this year, everyone knows their name. This award goes to a streamer who had unprecedented growth and rose to a streamer streamer fame over the last year and has established themselves among the top streamers. Actually, you know what? For this one, I'm going with Squeaks. I'm going back up to RP. I'm removing Squeaks because I will not give that fucker two uh, nominations. I'm going S Fan. Squeaks won that last year. I don't think this award existed last year. Squeaks was only ever nominated for Best Speedrun Streamer. Squeaks blew up last year. No, I don't think he did. I think you are just, you know me too well. Well, and uh, and so you're basing your knowledge of Squeaks and when you heard of him off of me, but I just knew about Squeaks very early. But I would not have argued that Squeaks uh, was a top streamer last year. And here's how I can prove this to you. This is a line that shows you Squeaks' viewership. The green is his average viewership. This is 2022. It peaked at 1600. Now this is the past year 2023. And it went from 4.7k until this month where it's peaking at 10k. So I would, I think that is a better better indicator. I would argue this is the blow up. Queso is also a great name to throw down, but I'm not putting Queso down. I'm putting Squeaks down. And it's up for you. Uh, it's up to you to vote. It's up to you to vote and be the change you need. Check out Jinxie. No, I mean, I know Jinxie's rise. It's insane. But again, check, you just have to fucking nominate. I'm not going to change my mind based off what you're saying. You just have to do it. Best VTuber. Didn't Iron Mouse win last year? She did, right? Yeah, she did. Iron Mouse won last year. She could go back to back. But is there someone else that's interesting that I could nominate? Maybe I'll go Jaden. I watch a good amount of Jaden streams when she was doing QSMP a lot. And they're almost all VTuber. So I'm going to go Jaden. I like that one. It's a good pick. Best just chatting streamer. Best streamer that regularly does just chatting content, such as conversing with chat, video commentary, reacting to news, sharing, engaging stories, entertaining group activities, and the like. <laughs> I love and the like. Who was it last year? Hassan Iron Mouse Pay Money Wubby Your Age. <laughs> no, I would not throw down Morgue Pie for this. If they had most innovative, I would. I'm going to go uh, Moist Critical. I think he had a big shift from streaming on Twitch to streaming on YouTube and Twitch, the multi-streaming. It's going really well. And I mean, all the fucker does is just chat. I mean, he plays a lot of video games, to be fair. But you'll tune into his stream and it'll be like, what's this story about a Dunkin' Donuts bathroom blowing up? Can you link that? He's doing any and everything. He's chatting about literally anything. I saw a stream yesterday. He had the mod of this, this is a very viral clip of this, this girl whose name's Sup Caitlin, who did a stream with one of her mods and she kissed her mod and then went, ew, gross. And then got up and that clip went viral. And then Charlie made a video about it and then got on a call with the mod. Not the most comfortable stream to watch, I'll be honest. But that's crazy that he was just he's just live streaming a convo with the mod. That was was wild. Dilly, yeah. And then everyone's going free dilly. <laughs> it was it was crazy. But but yeah, I'll throw it on Moist Critical. Best variety streamer. I think we were talking about true variety. There are very few, I think, authentic variety streamers still around. If I were to tip my hat to someone here though, I would give it to Northern Lion. I would give it to Lyric. I'd give it to Summit 1G, boring, same old people. To me, the award show is about celebrating the people who are still doing it. It's not about celebrating someone new if that new person isn't doing better than the old guard. And I think it's sti sick that every Sunday, still, Lyric can get on and play 30 games you've never heard of with 25,000 people watching. I think that's cool. And most people don't do that. Most people fucking boot up Twitch, they'll watch a few videos, they might even watch a copyrighted TV show, they might play a game for an hour for garbage time, and then they'll end. I don't consider those people variety streamers. I'm sorry. I don't even know if I consider myself a variety streamer. It's mostly just chatting with a sprinkle of, eh, here's some extra. But to truly boot up stream and just play whatever the fuck you want to play, regardless of viewership too, I think is cool. 39 Daft is a good example, yeah. You know what? I'm going to go Northern Lion for this. Mm, let's check, actually. I want to make sure I'm correct about my hypothesis. To me, someone who's variety will have at least 30 different categories. Okay, he definitely has more than 30 categories. <laughs> I mean, that's the epitome of variety. I feel like variety means that you have a bunch of fucking categories and no single category has more than like, you know, 25, 30%. That's fucking variety, man. Look at that. Look at this. That's crazy. I'm going to remove Northern Lion from a uh, best strategy gamer. I'm going to pick a new strategy gamer. Who won it last year? 
box box. Let's give some love to the old guard, Artosis. Still out here playing StarCraft 2. Is he playing Brood War? My mistake. Still out here playing StarCraft. The Sapphire Award. This award recognizes a streamer who, like a Sapphire, is formed against all the odds. The streamer has excelled in entertaining at the highest level this past year despite facing significant challenges. In an industry where 97% of the top streamers are male, this award is dedicated to streamers who identify as female or a marginalized gender and flourish in the face of adversity. <laughs> it's not the best week to vote sub Caitlin. Just candidly. It's just not the best week for that. Kaide. Emmy, Ray, Foosley. Hmm. I'm going to go Emmy. Could be recency bias because I've been watching her play Elden Ring, but I think she's had a hell of a year. I think she's crushed it. She doesn't stream. What? What is that? Is that really the hill you're going to die on? I feel like this counts as streaming. Am I a controversial? 700 hours is shit, bro. That might be more than me. And she's averaging 15K, dude. That's insane. League of their own. The streamer's a pioneer that creates one-of-the-kind content. With their creativity and out-of-the-box thinking, they're a trailblazer in the streaming industry, someone who relies on themselves for their content ideas and is genuinely in a league of their own. Wow, that's some stuff. I think there's some classics that come to mind. Doug Doug, who won it last year, actually. Mm, Germa could always be in here. I mean, I could be in all these categories, guys. <laughs> like, you've seen what I do when I game. You see what I do when it's strategy. You see what I do when it's speedrunning. I fuck that shit, right? Like, was there somebody who did speedrunning content to a higher degree? I didn't see a higher CCV when people were playing Suica than me killing that shit. I didn't see a higher CCV on only up. But it's not about me today, right? We're talking about Sapphire Award. I think I could make an argument for this. I would probably keep most of my opinions to Truth Social, but I think I could weasel my way out of that. I do think the French are marginalized. Maybe that makes me controversial. I'm going to go Cardboard Cowboy. He's not the biggest streamer that will be nominated for this category, but I don't think there is somebody in my mind who is creating more one-of-a-kind content and is more out of the box with their thinking. Almost zero streamers are doing, could do, or have done what he does. So I'm going Cardboard Cowboy. I made a video about Cardboard cowboy on uh mogul mail he's made a full animated world where he is the cardboard cowboy and recently he's made it so npcs in this animated world are controlled by tts by streamers the armies of the void gather in the darkness they swirl bringing nothing but the nihilistic arrows and slings of pain it's a lot of effort and i don't understand how you would disagree with this sentence or this phrase in his nomination. Not to say that he deserves to win it outright, but a nomination? I would like to see one for him. Gamer of the Year. Streamer who has extraordinary gaming ability and has performed exceptionally at a variety of games over the past year. No matter what game they're playing, you just have to watch. I said I wouldn't vote, Mike. I said I wouldn't vote. I don't think it's close. I don't think it's close, candidly. Many people might point to Void. He's up there. He's up there, but he keeps a lot of his gaming off stream. E Rob bears it all, you know? E Rob 221, couple stats. Second in World's Greatest Gamer Contest. A 2 0 record over Tyler 1 in chess. Yeah, you've heard of Tyler 1. He's pretty fucking good at chess. Successfully has launched a spaceship in that space program game. It's gotta be, it's gotta be E Rob. Streamer of the year. There's a few people that could be in here. You could have. You could have Kai. You could throw in Queso. A lot of people you could throw in. You could even throw in XQC. You could. Give me Jinxie. I think it's him this year. Because not only has he hit the peaks that he hit, he was top sub streamer for almost all the year before Kai's subathon. Was that actually last year? Either way, he was top sub streamer for almost all the year. He's one of the most viewed streamers. He's averaging, look, look at this, dude. He's averaging 40K over the past month. He was averaging 36K over the past 90 days. He was averaging, okay, the website's going to crash again, 32K over the past 180, and then 17K over the last year. Look at the growth. And he did it all with Rainbow Six Siege, which I just find impressive. I feel like he kind of shattered the ceiling of what a streamer could achieve in that game, and that impresses me. That impresses me. He's a Rainbow Six player, and that just just blows my mind to have done it with rainbow six he didn't do it fucking you know throwing events trying to uh do a bunch of youtube shorts capitalize on on peak viewership whatever he didn't do any of that he just played rainbow six a game that is pretty you know compared to valo or league or cs like not as big and just gamed his way to the top and at its core ain't that what this site's about gaming your way to the top so i'm gonna i'm gonna lock that in boom submit all your votes have been submitted cool there it is nominations complete now the voting will start in probably a couple of weeks uh feel free to nominate yourselves or yeah nominate you guys nominate as well don't nominate yourselves unless you want to if you deserve it i don't know kai broke your record kai broke your record for subs on twitch what <laughs> wait when fuck kai sanat shit son of a bitch
Jinx, he's the top sub streamer right now. Pirate Software is third. Wow. Look how many tier threes he has. I love how everybody loves to make jokes about tier threes to girls. It's actually just to software devs. <laughs> That's what people don't get. Everyone's worried about getting their tits out. You got to get your bits of information out. That's what people are paying for. That's crazy. All right, let's let's, let's take a look. Ooh, oh, ooh. Shot through the heart and you're too late. Still number two. Still number two. Hey, I don't mind. Did he really not know? Of course I knew. I made a video about it. Of course I knew. You think, you think I got away for eight months, nine months, ten months without anybody telling me? Please, man.